Right, here we go. Quality is not going to be great. So, click on our commander. Let's just get an economy set up. Get some labs churning out some shit. We have a K-Bot lab. The game's paused at the moment because I just restarted. Ten of those. Resource generator, two of those. <coughs> right, so I've set him up lots of commands. If I just hold shift, it'll tell you everything he's going to do. So let's add some more to him. Once he's done the resource generators, Now, click on the K-Bot Lab, you click Move, and move it over here, holding Shift. So anything that gets built now is going to move over to the right. We want two construction K-Bots. Select our commander again. And get him churning out more stuff. Once he's done, we get him to move up here. Just I like him out of the way. I'm not standing next to all the buildings he's just built. So our first construction K-Bot's out. Send him over here. Right, we want Guardian, 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 Guardian. And these uh, repair pads are really good if you upgrade them. So we go repair pad, repair pad, repair pad, repair pad, and then move back there when you're finished. So that's everything he's going to do. Build all that and then move to there. Second construction cable is out. Select him. We want just some defenders to protect against the, any air attacks. And then hold shift. An advanced cable lab just there right <clears throat> let's slow it down for a second so this lab at the moment if I hold shift it will tell you the move orders are just to move to the right there you'll see the green line there we actually want to change that now so we're going to click move and we're going to click it to here so now move orders there we're now going to hold shift and click patrol up there up there and down there and back to there so now anything that's built out of there will walk to that point there on the right and go on a little patrol and generally not be under my feet and also provide an early warning system so we have Five Peewees, five Roccos, five Hammers, five Warriors, five Jeffros. If I click on them in that order, it will build them in that order. So I'll get a varied defence force. Let's speed it back up. And just let that do its thing now. And that's it. This is the boring part, really. And now you'll see these peewees along here. Just going about their merry way. And that's it. That lab will just keep churning them out for ages. Now I'm probably going to want this commander to stop doing that now because uh, 
I'm going to get some advanced stuff. So I click him to do that, which cancels his build orders I've given him. And now I'll click him over here to assist this. Right, let's just get him to go and build some rubbish somewhere. I just don't want him in my face anymore. Right, so he's going to go just build some rubbish for me. Let's get two of these advanced guys out, get the commander to help. So as you can see I've got a fair few trolling K-bots now. I've got a couple of cannons over here just to help out. Right. Just want a few of these advanced ones, followed by a couple of fusion reactors I think. And get him perhaps to just do the same. Just uh, by himself over here. Now sometimes I'll get my commander to actually guard the construction K bots, but sometimes he gets in their way and uh, they stop building stuff. So t I just tend to uh, get him to assist once, at one one go, one thing at a time. Right, now I've probably got enough metal almost. We'll do this in the fusion reactor and then you'll see. Nearly there. Oh, they're building up a force now already. That's all right, the fences are there. Now this guy, once he's done that, we'll get him to just build the uh, that experimental unit assembler straight away, once he's finished these. But our energy is running out already. So what we might have to do is double click Go away. <coughs> Double click all these uh, metal extractors and to select all the ones on the screen and switch them off just to save a little bit of energy. Right. My commander needs to build some defences. Probably good to suck these up because we really need the, the metal at the moment. This is on easy as well, this is ridiculous. Hold shift so it sucks them all up. And if you let go of shift and click repair and hold shift again, once he's finished reclaiming, he'll repair that. Right, so we've probably got energy now. Right, once he's done that, we then sort of release shift, hold it again, and then get him to help with that. So now, We'll start with Fido's and Mavericks. So we'll click move. And we'll send these guys on virtually the same course. Move to there, hold shift. Control. 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 I'm holding shift the whole time as well. 
That's it, that'll send them on their merry way. So we'll go five Zeus, five Fido, five Mavericks. And we'll just leave that now, forever. Hopefully this looks a little bit better on the, the computer it does on this little screen here. We'll see. I mean, a lot of these guys are just going to get killed and not really do much, but it's just more about slowing the enemy down and getting this line of guardian towers up. I would get this construction bot to guard this one and help him, but they tend to get under each other's feet. Um, so it's probably better if I actually get him to just do his own thing perhaps. In fact, let's move him to this side first. And then start building from this side, mate. Right, I think that's our fusion reactor up. Our metal economy is still pretty rank. <coughs> so we'll get the commander to help on this factory and we'll actually get this guy to just stop doing it. We won't hold shift this time, we'll literally just click it so he goes and does that. The commander can finish that and we'll get some more of these metal mines up seeing as we've got like no metal whatsoever. Now these guys can actually just attack these. Um, I'll just click guard and get them to guard one of these guys while we're patrolling and they'll just carry on patrolling now. Oh, I can turn these back on actually. Forgot about that. There we go, see that's probably going to help out quite a bit. Almost. Right. Oh, I don't know if you realise, these um, energy resource generators that you virtually start with, if you click on them and switch them on, they turn into metal makers. So if you, if you find yourself a bit low on metal, just select them and switch them on. Right, now it begins. So now I'll move on to the aircraft plant and get a few uh, flying construction aircraft. Right, first things first, let's 
a few of these big extractors going down. Five. select all of these but I'll just select a big chunk of guys like this if I press control Z that'll select every one of that type of unit on the map let's just send them in I probably don't need any of these anymore so I'm right clicking I'm holding shift and right clicking on these just because I've got enough defences here for the time being. Now these repair pads, always upgrade them and they'll start repairing other buildings and helping build stuff now and they're pretty handy. Right, let's get 10 of these out. Right, again, select move, because we don't want these landing all near where we're building, so just move them over there. Get three of those, and right, let's start on these. Three, four, five, six. Now select these guys straight away and get them to guard him. Oh, and this one. Oh no, it's the same one. Right, we'll get these guys here to guard the hangar. I didn't know I'd select, didn't select them to guard. up soon. This rape here is torching everything. Well, well, well. Anyway, almost. Right. There, good. <coughs> Just click start upgrading that straight away. Let it do its thing.
Right, and that's virtually it now. I'll end up with about six reactors. Mm, loads more of these mantle extractors. And yeah, then I'll start really pumping out a lot of uh, attacking units. And that's it really. Right, I'm going. Peace.